Welcome into the Original Gangsters podcast. I'm your host, Scott Bernstein. Quick hitter edition. We're going to go up uh, out to Salem, Massachusetts. We're going to talk a little bit about the Hells Angels in New England and the return of a pretty notorious Hells Angel enforcer, Johnny Bart. John Bartolomeo, a.k.a. Johnny Bart, who back in the day was the youngest full patch Hells Angels member in Massachusetts. Uh, has been locked up for about 30 years, came home uh, at the end of 2023. He's in a halfway house. He'll be in that halfway house until August of this year. But his return uh, was met with uh, quite a bit of um, happiness, I guess, in that area. Uh, people were thrilled to have him back on the scene. He was uh, as as Feared as he was, was as well liked as he was from talking to my sources uh, in the Salem, Massachusetts chapter uh, back in the 90s and was in the front uh, on the front lines of uh, a war against the devil's disciples. Uh, according to his pre-sentence report uh, in the case that he took, which was a racketeering drug case, he, he copped to the drug counts and got a 35 year sentence to 27 years. But uh, according to his pre-sentence report, he was. Kind of made his bones and uh, made his reputation as uh, as a player, as a power to be reckoned with in in the biker world on the East Coast by assassinating a Devil Disciples boss, the boss of uh, a Devil Disciples chapter in Massachusetts, a guy by the name of Billy the Cat Michaels, uh, July of ninety five, according to the pre sentence report. Johnny Bart uh, stalked him uh, from a, a, a car. Billy the Cat Michaels was on his um, on his bike, and uh, Johnny Bart vehicular homicided Billy the Cat Michaels. Uh, rammed him, rammed him with his with his car, rammed his bike with his car, and then and drug him for or dragged him for for a, a while until he was unconscious. He died at the hospital, and uh, this was something that was really celebrated in, in the Hells Angels world. Uh, he was arrested about a year later and copped, a, copped his plea in 98. Uh, but, you know, Johnny Bart is, is a name that rings loud in, in, uh, in Massachusetts and all of New England when it comes into the, to the Hells Angels. And I know that right now he's, he's keeping his head low, uh, staying, trying to stay below the radar. When he first came out of prison, he did an interview uh, on YouTube with a, a convict, a convict Inc. station, I believe, or, or channel, uh, also did an uh, article or, or contributed to an article on Substack as a, a quote for somebody that was writing an article about what people should expect going into federal prison. Um, but I think there are questions about how he fits back in uh, to the Hells Angels empire, or if he fits back in. Um, there's questions about how what's going on in uh, Massachusetts and parts of New York play into what's going on up up in Montreal and Canada with uh, this great Canadian mafia biker war that's been um, popping off lately. But Johnny Bart is back in New England, back in Massachusetts in a halfway house after almost 30 years. Youngest Hells Angel, full patch member back in the late 80s, early 90s. Welcome home, Johnny Bart. Scott Bernstein, OG Pod, out.